All right, in the previous video, we covered some basics of Redux Saga. And before we go ahead and start implementing our image, image gallery, let's spend some more time diving into how Redux Saga works and what are some practical use cases of some of the effects that we just saw. So if, uh, if you remember correctly that we discussed about take every, which basically takes every action dispatched from my store um, called hello. Every hello action that is basically dispatched from my store, it will watch for it and assign it to my worker saga. Now, by that, I mean if I fire it three times and open my log here, you should see that my action got handled three times. Um, now this can help you when, if you're building something for production, uh, there may be use cases for this. Um, like every time somebody adds something into the cart, you increase the counter or whatever, you, you, you handle it uh, based on the previous value. So you, at, at those times, you would want to watch for certain actions with take every. And then there are cases where you only want certain actions to be dispatched once when uh, when they are in a flow. So by that I mean, if a user visits your website, you only want the user to be able to log in once. Now I can go ahead and replace this with our current use case. Now let's suppose that I have a login event dispatched from, to my store and um, I will basically handle it with take every and my worker saga will basically tell me that the user has logged in. So we can see that my login action was being handled three different times, which is not what we want. We want it to be handled just once, no matter how many times uh, the action was dispatched uh, because the user can go nuts and keep on clicking the login button but we only want to handle it once so um, this can come handy like um, if there is one request already in progress and the user presses uh, login again um, and you haven't gotten response from your server because server is evaluating whether the credentials are right or not or whatever you are doing in the backend and uh, user has dispatched one more action so you don't want to fire another request because there is already one which is in progress. So we can just use another effect called take instead of take every, which has a similar syntax, but it doesn't take any second parameter. So once my root saga encounters a login event, login action, uh, we can tell that um, the saga should call the worker saga and we will obviously import call effect from the Redux Saga effects. And we can now see that I am dispatching the login action three different times, but it's only being handled once. Now this puts Saga in control. We, the user has fired the action three, different, three times, but since Saga is in control here, it is pulling the action only once. Now, this typically represents the entire um, inversion of control model. And uh, since we only allow uh, adding, like logging, logging in of the user just once, our saga is basically, in, that's because our saga is basically in control. And we can use this model to, uh, to specify uh, a set of transactions that should happen in a sequence. And we can do that declaratively here. Like I can now tell Saga to only watch for um, add to cart events. Like you, a user can only add something to the cart if he's logged in, if he or she is logged in. And I can also dispatch by once something is added to the cart, once user logs in, add something to the cart, I can only dispatch a buy event uh, action then. And uh, I mean, I can dispatch it every, any, any time, but my saga will only handle it then. And I can then take the logout event 
to actually simplify this, we'll just comment out these two things and uh, talk about the flow here. So if you look, if you if you read the flow here, we have declaratively told our tag, uh, told our saga that uh, a login event should should be fired first before the logout event. So if I go back and fire the logout first, which doesn't make sense because you can't really log out some someone who is already who's not logged in. Um, your saga will not basically handle it because the logout event will only be handled after the login event. And if I change this to logout, you should see that um, I'll just create another saga called bye bye saga, which will just so I'll create a generator function here. Which will simply log out. Uh, bye bye. So you can see that uh, I fired a logout action, which was not handled. Um, I fired login action, which was handled by my worker saga. And then I fired another logout action, which was then handled because uh, my root saga only watches for the logout actions once the login action has been fired. And yeah, that's uh, that basically puts the saga in control and we can now uh, declaratively write complicated flow, complicated transactions flow and uh, make our application scale pretty easily. You can obviously do this with Redux Thunks as well, but um, the entire thinking there changes. You, um, you, it can get tricky, it can get more complicated, but I feel this is really simple to get started with and uh, can also really help you scale further as you go. Like if I, I want to include more actions between login and logout, um, which should be authenticated, I can simply add it here by just adding it to this flow. So yeah, that's pretty much about the basics of Redux Saga. We can now clean this up and start on the implementation of our image gallery here. So I'll just clean everything from here. And to, for starters, now in this application, we are only looking for the load request of images. So we already created uh, an action for that. And we have, a cons we have it in our constants. Um, it's called images.load, which basically is images load, which is um, fired via load images. So right now we here we only care about the yeah we only care about the constant that we created. So I'll just import images from constants, and I'll tell my saga that every time, um, okay, I, yeah. So every time um, images start load gets fired, gets dispatched. So I can just add images dot load. Um, I want my worker saga to handle it. Actually, I should rename my worker saga to be called handle images load so here i'll for now i'll just console log out that fetching images from unsplash so my saga is ready my saga is basically watching for uh, the images load action uh, and whenever that gets dispatched from my store it will handle it. I can now clear it from here and we now need to dispatch images load action from our component. We can basically create a load more button at the end of this UI, which when pressed will fire this action. So we have to import, uh, so now if you go into our images grid, we have to import um, our load images action from actions and uh, we need to bind this action with our 
store so map dispatch to props which takes dispatch as an argument and returns an object which contains a list of functions and dispatches the load images so I can now since it's connected yeah I can I need to connect it with map dispatch to props so I should now access have access to load images in my function here and I can actually create a button um, it's not going to be anything fancy I can for now I can just call this dot props dot load images every time um, this is clicked so it should be called load images map dispatch to props okay my bad okay so we have an issue here um, as I'm clicking this button and trying to dispatch an action I can see that my actions are being dispatched you can see that images dot underscore load uh, got dispatched from my component but my saga is not handling it properly so there is definitely something wrong with my saga it seems that we forgot to add yield statement here and hopefully everything should work properly now right so we have uh, our actions being dispatched and handled by our handle image load generator properly and um, this sort of completes the entire flow of how you can dispatch an action and how uh, a saga can handle it. Now, the next part that I want to focus on um, is talk uh, talking about effects a little bit more. We are using take every here and uh, there is another type of effect. Uh, so this is actually a non-blocking effect. Um, and there are in total two types of effects, blocking and non-blocking. So um, if you go to the documentation of uh, Redux Saga, you can read more about uh, what exactly blocking and non-blocking calls are and um, what all effects classify as blocking and what all effects classify as non-blocking. But I'll just give you some uh, basic overview of uh, what blocking and non-blocking effects are. So um, take every is a non-blocking effect, which means that it can run in parallel. So if I go ahead and add one more yield statement here, which basically is another take every, um, which will uh, watch for the action called dang, and it will just say handle dang effect, Hand handle dang. And I'm going to go ahead and create one more generator called handle dang which will just log out dang so now if I go to my store and uh, let's suppose I fire one action from here I dispatch an action called of type dang Since um, since my take every effect is non-blocking, uh, it should easily handle it in any sequence at all. So handle dang should be a function. Yeah. So you can see that uh, dang got handled here. I dispatched it from line number 19 here and it got handled immediately right after that. But we saw with take, which is basically a blocking effect, I couldn't skip uh, this cycle, this flow. I, this flow was non-skippable when I was using take here. So with take every, these things get forked into a parallel uh, thread. You can assume that this is running on a parallel uh, thread, which, whenever, which is basically always watching for this action. And whenever this action gets fired, no matter in what sequence at all, it will handle it. But if we were to do this with take, um, we can rewrite this logic and I know take will only take the type of action and move on to the next statement. It will call the handle images load and 
whenever and after that it will watch for the dang action and then it will handle that so now if i refresh uh, and import call from here now if i refresh um i you can see that i there was no dang exclamation mark exclamation mark in my console which means that although i fired uh, an action of type this dang it did not get handled here because take always takes the action it suspends my saga it will suspend this generator until unless this action is fired so once i fire image images dot load then if i fire dang it will handle it so um if i can i can actually demo it in a reverse way so um i will handle dang first and then i will handle images dot load so dang got handled and i will fire a load images which will only get handled once like no matter how many times i fire it from here you can see that i clicked it four different times but it only got handled once there is no repeated uh, execution of uh, handle images load so um and if i don't fire dang from here it will never enter this flow my generator this root saga will remain suspended because it it is only currently watching for dang action and if i keep on pressing load images and no matter how many times i dispatch this action this will not be handled by my root saga um so that's how i can like we can say that take is a blocking one and had i just used take every this would have been handled in uh, any sequence i fire these this uh, i i dispatch this action so yeah that uh, that's what we had to cover in this video let's clean this up a little bit so that in the next one we can start with uh, our so making this application much more sophisticated so um, i will go ahead and replace yield with take every i will watch for images dot load and handle images load i can clean up this because i don't need this anymore and should be take every so now if i click here uh, you can see that it's it is being handled four different times and was fired four four times so yeah uh, i would recommend you to spend some time on uh, redux saga talks and try to learn a little bit more on the blocking and non blocking calls and what all calls classify as blocking and what all calls classify as non blocking um we will see some of both of these uh, types of calls later in this course but i would highly recommend you to uh, spend some time on the docs so yeah that's it for this video see you in the next one